Do you want to allow your visitors to attach files to your contact form 7 forms? Do you want those files to actually arrive in your inbox? Then this video is for you. By the end of this video, your forms are going to allow visitors to upload all kinds of files. Images, videos, documents, spreadsheets, and the types of files are defined by you. I'm going to show you how to do all of it in this video. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Here's what we're building in this video. Here's our form. We've added a choose file option down here and we can add a file. I'm going to add this one. Click on submit to submit our form. There's our thank you message that it worked. Here's the email a few moments later with the form information we filled out and our attached image. I'm going to show you how to do that right now in this video. First thing, let's go back to our form here. Let's erase the work I've done. So we can backtrack a little so I can show you what I did. Okay, so the very first thing is you have to have a form. I assume since you're watching this video, you already have Contact Form 7 installed and you have a form that you want to add file attachment functionality to. If that assumption is incorrect and you want to know how to create Contact Form 7 forms and how Contact Form 7 works, I've got a full walkthrough of the core plugin. I'll link to it in the card up above and the description down below so you can check that out if you need to. If not, Let's add the file field right now. I'm going to click into our form editor and click on file. I'm going to make this not required. The name you don't have to change, but you can if you want to. This is internally used inside of the plugin to reference that field in the email that's sent. So you can keep that as it is or not, it's up to you. File size limit. This is something you want to limit because you don't want people well, uploading files are 10 gigabytes in size, for example. So the way you do this is you add a number here in bytes. So if you wanted to have your limit to be 10 megabytes, I believe 10 megabytes is 100,000 bytes. Let's confirm that. I'm just going to Google megabyte to byte. I like this page right here. There's a whole bunch that do this, so I'm just skipping through it. Uh, it's actually 10 million. So copy either one of these. I'm going to copy the one in, in bytes in binary and I'm going to paste it right in here. I found when you Google it, the one that Google gives you, this one here, also works. You can just copy it from there. Um, but this option that I went to first, that gives you in decimal and binary. So you can pick the correct one. Contact Form 7 takes both, so it's not that big of a deal. You'll definitely want to define acceptable file types as well. I'm going to limit mine to images, JPEG, pipe character, PNG, pipe character, GIF. So these are our allowed file types and they're separated by the pipe character, not by commas, not by spaces or carriage returns, has to be the pipe character. And that's how we denote which file types are acceptable. And if you wanted people to upload movie files, you'd have the acceptable movie files or documents or spreadsheets or what have you. You denote the acceptable file types. You can have all those as well. You could have 100 acceptable file types in here. If you wanted, or leave it blank, that's dangerous, but you could leave it blank and then people could upload anything, anything they want, including malware, viruses, things like that. So I prefer, I recommend, highly recommend you enter acceptable file types. The ID attribute field and the class attribute field are both for styling or tying JavaScript to your form. Not something we need for this video, but they are there if you do need them in the future. Click on insert tag and we have the tag right here. Now let's save it. And while we're waiting for that to happen, go ahead and click the like button to let me know you're finding this video valuable. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to it. I just copied my form on my clipboard because this host keeps doing this. So annoying. I'm going to switch host just because of this. And that doesn't save my junk. See how the, the file field is gone now? I got to put it back in and save it. And it does that like every, every like 10 page refreshes. It's super annoying. And that is, because you probably want to know now which host that is. Um, it's one I got off AppSumo called Maker's Host. And I think I might um, email them to ask if that can be turned off for the site. Anyhow, neither here nor there. Uh, we want to add this file to our email. On the email tab, after we save it, this doesn't happen until you save it. Another reason we want to save, we have our file tag appear right here. We want to copy that 
Also, it's in dark or it's in black because it hasn't been used yet in any fields down below. These grayed out ones have. So that's so you can tell visually which fields or which field tags you need to still add to your emails. Go down to the very bottom for the file attachments box here, paste in that tag. I don't know why they wouldn't do that automatically because that's the only place that tag can go, but they don't. So that's that. Save it. Confirm it's there. Excellent. Come back out to our form. Refresh it. Fill it out really quick. For the purposes of this video, I like to use smaller images. This one's smaller. I don't know why I have a picture of that car on my hard drive. It's not our car, but I don't know. Anyway, smaller images work better for the purposes of this video. Click on submit once the form is filled. This will take longer to send if the image is larger. Up to 10 megabytes of image size can take quite a while to send. And some email accounts even might not allow 10 megabyte size attachments. Anyhow, message is sent. Let's go check if it's there. It is, there's the car we just attached, and there is the email. In the case you weren't aware, I have a 17 point WordPress pre-launch checklist that goes through all the steps you should take before you launch any new WordPress site. It's been downloaded over 100,000 times over the past few years, and you can get it totally for free. I've got a video walking through what it has, and I'll link to that video in the description down below so you can check out that video. Then you can decide if you want to join the over 100,000 other WordPress users who have this checklist. Next up, check out the next part of this Contact Form 7 series right up here. Or you can check out the whole playlist right down here of all the Contact Form 7 tutorials that I've made for you. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.